Friends in Christ, in this Lenten season, we have heard our Lord's call to struggle against sin, death, and the devil, all that keeps us from loving God and each other. This is the struggle to which we are called at baptism. We have shared this discipline of Lent with new brothers and sisters in Christ who will be baptized at Easter Vigil. Within the community of the Church, God never wearies of forgiving sin and giving the peace of reconciliation. On this night, let us confess our sin against God and our neighbor and enter the, great, and enter the celebration of the great three days reconciled with God and with one another. Most merciful God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. God, who is rich in mercy, loved us even when we were dead in sin and made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. In the name of Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. Almighty God, strengthen you with power through the Holy Spirit, that Christ may live in your hearts through faith. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Holy God, source of all love, on the night of his betrayal, Jesus gave us a new commandment, to love one another as he loves us. Write this commandment in our hearts and give us the will to serve others as he was servant of all. Your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall mark for you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year for you. Tell the whole congregation of Israel that on the tenth of this month they are to take a lamb for each family, a lamb for each household. If a household is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join its closest neighbor in obtaining one. The lamb shall be divided in proportion to the number of people who eat of it. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a year old male. You may take it from the sheep or from the goats. You shall keep it until the fourteenth day of this month. Then the whole assembled congregation of Israel shall slaughter it at twilight. They shall take some of the blood and put it on the two doorposts and the lintel of the houses in which they eat it. They shall eat the lamb that same night. They shall eat it roasted over the fire with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. Do not eat any of it raw or boiled in water, but roast it over the fire with its heads, legs, and inner organs. You shall let none of it remain until the morning. Anything that remains until the morning you shall burn. This is how you shall eat it. Your loins girded, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and you shall eat it hurriedly. It is the Passover of the Lord. For I will pass through the land of Egypt that night, and I will strike down every firstborn in the land of Egypt, both human beings and animals. On all the gods of Egypt I will execute judgments. I am the Lord. The blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you live. When I see the blood, I will pass over you, and no plague shall destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. This day shall be a day of remembrance for you. You shall celebrate it as a festival to the Lord. Throughout your generations, you shall observe it as a perpetual ordinance. The word of the Lord. A reading from 1 Corinthians. 
For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. The word of the Lord. The Holy Gospel according to John. Now before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put it into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, One who is bathed does not need to wash except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you. For he knew who was to betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. After he'd washed their feet, he put on his robe and had returned to the table. He said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you also should do as I have done to you. Very truly, I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you, only a little longer. You will look for me. And as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I'm going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Friends in Christ, I don't have a written sermon for this service. But we are called to love one another. We are called even if, even if there's no one whose feet I can wash today because I'm alone in the house and because of COVID and because we are physically distanced even if there's no one whose feet I can wash today, there are people in life to whom I can be of service. Even if you are alone in your room today, there are people in your life whom you can serve in the name of Christ. The other day, I was thinking about what a blessing it was that um, among the beloved ones in my COVID bubble, that we could share a meal together and that we could break bread together and know um, 
there is a certain kind of companionship and care and joy about eating at table with people that we love. And Jesus makes this a sacrament, of course. He makes it, as Jesus often does, he makes it more than just ordinary. He takes the ordinary and makes it sacred, which is what Jesus does with all of our hearts, right? Jesus takes our ordinary selves, and on the cross he makes it sacred, he makes us sacred, because he draws the whole world to himself on the cross, and we are part of that. Our sins get forgiven, our feet get washed, and we go out to serve others, to share um, the kind of love that Jesus shared with us, with others. Because that's what our Lord asks us to do. That's how good news, gospel, is spread. It is not often spread through argumentation, as you know. It is most often spread because we love someone, and someone loves us, and we talk about that, and we share our faith in actions, not just in words. Both are important, but Jesus says, serve one another, love one another, eat and drink this meal, and in that we are prepared for all that is to come, even when we don't know all that is to come. So tonight, as we celebrate communion, and as we prepare for Good Friday and the great vigil of Easter, remember to love one another, because Jesus loves you. Amen. While there is no one whose feet I am going to wash tonight, I'm going to read that part of the service as a reminder to us of the ways that we can serve one another in love. <clears throat> On this night we have heard our Lord's commandment to love one another as he has loved us. We who receive God's love in Jesus Christ are called to love one another, to be servants to each other as Jesus became our servant. Our commitment to this loving service is signified in the washing of feet, following the example our Lord gave us on the night before his death. Let us pray for new life in the church, new hope for the world, and God's love for all who are in need. Gracious God, we ask your wide mercy for the whole world. We ask you for new life in the church, in our families, in our hearts, in our bodies, in our hopes. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we ask for hope for the world. We ask for hope in faith in you. We ask for hope in steadfast love of one another, we ask for hope in seeking the common good even when we disagree. We ask for hope in justice for all people regardless of all the factors we could name that cause us to deny justice to one another. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we ask for your love to spill out over this world to everyone who needs it. For all those who need shelter or are sick or are in prison or are suffering or, or are estranged from their loved ones or are grieving. For all the concerns of our hearts, Lord, in your mercy, 
hear our prayer. We pray to you, O God, in the name of the one who endured the cross, forgives our sin, and feeds us at his table, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ, whose suffering and death gave salvation to all. You gather your people around the tree of the cross, transforming death into life. And so, with all the choirs of angels, the church on earth, and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are you, O God of the universe, your mercy is everlasting and your faithfulness endures from age to age. Praise to you for creating the heavens and the earth. Praise to you for saving the earth from the waters of the flood. Praise to you for bringing the Israelites safely through the sea. Praise to you for leading your people through the wilderness to the land of milk and honey. Praise to you for the words and deeds of Jesus, your anointed one. Praise to you for the death and resurrection of Christ. Praise to you for your spirit poured out on all nations. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. With this bread and cup we remember our Lord's Passover from death to life as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. O God of resurrection and new life, Pour out your Holy Spirit on us and these gifts of bread and wine. Bless this feast. Grace our table with your presence. Come, Holy Spirit. Reveal yourself to us in the breaking of the bread. Raise us up as the body of Christ for the world. Breathe new life into us. Send us forth burning with justice, peace, and love. Come, Holy Spirit. With your holy ones of all times and places, the earth and all of its creatures, sun and moon and stars, we praise you, O God, blessed and holy trinity, now and forever. Amen.
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. body of Christ given for you, the blood of Christ shed for you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, in a wonderful sacrament, you strengthen us with the saving power of your suffering, death, and resurrection. <laughs> May this sacrament of your body and blood so work in us that the fruits of your redemption will show forth in the way we live. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. At this point, we will strip the altar. Ka 
אספר כל עצמותיי, המה יביטו יראו בי. יחנקו בגדיי להם, ועל לבושי יפילו גורל. ואתה, אדוני, אל תרחק, אילותי לעזרתי חושה. הצילה מחרב נפשי, מיד כלב יחידתי. הושענני מפי ארגה, ומקרני רימים ענתני. אספרה שמך לאחי, בתוך קהל אהללך. יראה אדוני הללוהו, כל זרע יעקב כבדוהו, וגורו ממנו כל זרע ישראל. כי לא בזה ולא שיקץ עדות עמי, ולא הסתיר פניו ממנו, ובשבעו אליו שמע. מאיתך תהילתי בקהל רב, נדרי אשלם נגד יראיו. יאכלו ענבים ונשבעו, יהללו אדוני דורשיו, יחי לבבכם לעד. יזכרו וישובו אל אדוני כל אף שערץ, וישתחוו לפניך כל משפחות גויים. כי לאדוני המלוכה הוא מושל בגויים. אכלו וישתחוו כל דשני ארץ, לפניו יכרעו כל יורדי עפר, ונפשו לא חיכה. זרע יעבדנו, יסופר לאדוני לתור, יבואו ויגידו צדקתו, לעם נולד כי עשה.